All right, thank you, Steve. Well, vaccination incentives have started pumping up across the Miami Valley. Public Health Dayton and Montgomery County is offering $100 gift cards, but it begs the question, do incentives work? Two News reporter Aaliyah Williamson is breaking down what we're seeing in terms of coronavirus vaccine numbers. Since they started offering $100 debit cards, Public Health in Montgomery County says they have seen a big increase in the number of people coming to get the shot. Before the offer of a $100 gift card was made, we were getting anywhere between 20, 25 people per uh, vaccination clinic. Now we're getting over 100 and more at each clinic. It's been a week since Public Health Dayton Montgomery County started this very simple vaccine incentive. A $100 gift card for anyone getting their first vaccine dose. What brought yeah. you to bring get it? Uh, uh, basically the $100. I mean, there's no real re other reason why. The fact that it's not an actual gift card and it's actually a, a, a debit card that you can use for whatever, so gas, whatever. The funds are provided by the Ohio Department of Health. Public health officials say they started with 1,000 cards to give out and they plan to offer more in the future. But people shouldn't delay any longer or hold out for better offers. There's no guarantee that there will be any more incentives beyond what's already offered. So the best thing is for people to get vaccinated as soon as possible. And for the more than 200,000 Montgomery County residents who may have gotten their vaccine before the incentive, he offers this thought. Yes, you may have missed your opportunity for the $100. However, you gain the benefit of being protected much, much earlier and much, much longer. And that benefit of being protected, not being hospitalized, not getting very sick, that is worth much more than $100. At these public health vaccination clinics, people can choose from all three COVID-19 vaccine brands. In Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you. Well, Wright State University is launching.